essentially I'm making these videos so I don't tempt the demo gods when I try to show this live. Here we have an install of Matilda Day, deliberately insecure web application just for, well, demoing these sorts of things. I'm going to show you the first shell we're going to play with, just a simple ADC shell. It doesn't do much, just accepts form input, then passes it to shell execute so it can run it. And let's go ahead and do an uh, arbitrary file inclusion of that. Here we're doing a remote file inclusion, and I have my little shell. Notice it's being served up from irongeek.com and has the text extension. It doesn't get interpreted on irongeek.com, it gets interpreted on hackme.irongeek.com, which in theory is not the same website. Now, for my demo purposes, it actually, well, it is, but functionally it's equivalent. See, I can issue commands. Who am I running as? www.data. And I can issue pretty much whatever I want. If I wanted to, I could cat out, cat out the uh, password file. And there I have a list of usernames. Couldn't get shadowed necessarily because, well, list permissions are seriously screwed up. But let's go with uh, doing something a little bit more complicated. This is just a simple shell. Let's go with showing off a simple uploader instead. Now, uploaders are nice because they generally can be made really small, and then you can upload a more full-fledged shell later on that you might have a problem getting installed via just a remote file include. So here you see it just simply accepts a file. There's actually a bunch of extra code in here that's not needed just for pure uploading, but um, I wanted the information there for debugging purposes. So with this, I can now upload a more powerful shell if I want. So let me go ahead and put that in instead as my remote file include. And now at this point, I can browse and upload something slightly different which we will do here on the next video.